please read this disclaimer carefully before proceeding further. All right, traders, welcome back to DXY Analysis Dollar Index. My name is Vic. Thanks for joining me here. If you have been following my analysis for quite some time, then you know that we have been um, getting our guidance from hard time frame picture, irrespective of what market makers or analysts, or other analysts or traders or media have been saying, we have been just looking at the hard time frame picture. So it is now time to have a look at that picture once again, because the market has actually moved and it has reached our one, one of the profit targets that we have been looking at for a few months. So let me actually show you what we have been looking at to start with. So if I go to the monthly time frame on DXY, what I have is simply a W pattern here. Okay, that W pattern actually does not finish here. It actually finishes here around 110. Now, so what is actually stopping here? What What is stopping like, you know, DXY to go upwards from here? Okay, so the market came here, it fell down, went back up and created a double top. Now, same thing happened has happened has happened here and we were expecting it it has created kind of double bottom here there is a double bottom with, within double bottom here and the market has been moving up and if you remember we have been looking for a long position since 89 uh, initially 90 and then 89.29 um, and then we have been looking for profit targets into 94 95 96 area okay uh, why because if I just remove this entire thing, what you have is actually simply a sideways momentum, which is happening. You see the previous structure was there and the market has actually touched that. Now it has come back to the same level and we were expecting a bounce up very, very easy, right? And it's quite easy to understand that this is simply a sideways momentum. And if it is sideways, then there is a mid of the channel as well, which is somewhere around here. And the market is probably trying to go towards that, right? It may not reach there, that's a different matter because market has its own way of like you know uh, going through the time so it may not reach there almost immediately it may reach there it may go all the way to this level it may break through that or it may come by come down to break through it but what we see on the charts is the ultimate truth so what we see right now the market has been actually going upwards from here and this is what we were ex expecting because this was a sideways movement and we were in a sideways channel Okay, so that was one one of the things. Another thing to note here is this um, this W pattern that I was talking about. Like you know, I mentioned that it is it is it completes around 110. Now it completes at 110. That does not mean that it will go there. It will only go there if it breaks through some of the important levels, which is the mid of this uh, zone, mid of this uh, entire um, structure, and then the high of the structure. Then only it will go in there on the other side it can also fall down right you know if the market starts to pick up momentum then it can fall down and it starts to go down because in that case it will form an m pattern here okay and that will actually bring it down to near about 82 83 level or so and so we need to be looking at higher time frames to see what market can do now let me actually show you why i'm saying um this is 110 if i take my fibonacci here and draw all the way to down to this level don't worry about all this um, uh, all these markings here what i see that market has come to 38.2 which means that market is expected to reach 78.6 in fact actually it, it actually fell down from 61.8 fib level here and it came back created double top and fell down now because it has not been able to violate this all we can say is that you know the market will try to consolidate within this range and because this is monthly time frame each month will bring us more opportunities like you know it can be um, downward opportunities it can be upward opportunities now over time the market will find its own way either to go to 110 which is the 78.6 fibonacci level or it will try to find its way down to this level here which is near about um 84.123 level okay so until that happens until we see uh, an evidence of that happening you cannot anticipate that, that that's exactly what's going to happen so stay objective focus on the higher time frame charts and find out opportunities what what the market is giving you okay now if i go to the weekly time frame on weekly time frame this is the thing that i uh, mentioned and presented to you in the previous analysis that market was expected to go parabolic from here i mentioned that in the group as well that you know the market could actually go parabolic from here and that's exactly how it happened in fact it actually f went through my initial target as well of 1.618 fibonacci extension now the next one 
can be this one which is 94.752 but before that what we see here is that we have got a w pattern here okay so this w pattern was completed here and because of this early completion because the momentum was too strong that's why i said this could actually pick up momentum ultimately to become a parabolic move and it did now it is taking a little breather here and this can actually fall down a little bit to this level now this level is very very important for this market to hold because if this is this level and another this level as well so let me actually put lines here so that you know which levels i'm talking about uh where is my line tool okay so this is the one so that's 93.719 and uh, near about the next level is going to be 93.526 so all of these levels are still valid they were acting as resistance now they will act as support um, another thing to note here is that mark this market has been actually leaving a lot of gaps so one of the gap is available around 91 there was another one around 90 i'm not pretty sure about this i will have to reconfirm this but this one is definitely there and then we have got a gap around 92.7 uh, which is going to be 92.7 somewhere around here actually sorry 93.7 somewhere around here okay i'll have to reconfirm that and uh, I'll, I'll post uh, uh, a screenshot of that uh, but there is a gap somewhere around there and by looking at the history of this market this never actually leaves any gaps open so market this market ultimately will come down at some point in time to close all of these gaps now that may happen this week this month next month next year maybe next decade who knows right you never know okay so what has happened what is stopping it from reaching this now we were looking for this profit target here the initial profit target why because we were looking at a w pattern let me just quickly show you what i mean by that so we have let's quickly clean this up okay so if i just focus on this particular structure here the market created an m pattern and when m pattern completes the market is expected to go higher so it went higher came back down to create a double bottom and then started to go higher in the previous analysis i said if this level in the midpoint is broken then we are looking for higher movement and that's what exactly market is trying to do it is trying to retest the previous structure here previous structure here and in that process it has actually created another w pattern here so what we expect is that you know the market can actually take a little bit of dip but if that dip is not if that dip is not too deep then i'm expecting it to continue to rise even higher so this dip is very very important and next week onwards that can actually start to happen it can take a little bit of dip but dollar can dollar still has a little bit of potential to go a little higher before it can start to fall down and why it is taking a break here uh, and why we were looking for this area as like you know, one of the profit targets is because if i draw fibonacci from all the way from this level to here what we see is that market is market has reached 38.2 this is the 38.2 i'm not sure whether that is visible here so let me go and show it on here this is the uh, another set of example that we another set of analysis that we have been following for some time so if i draw fibonacci from all the way to this low to the lower point the market has reached 38.2 it has touched that 38.2 and now it has started to take a little bit of breather and there is previous structure here previous structure here as well and that is why i'm expecting market to fall down a little bit however if this fall is not substantial then it can continue to go even higher why is that is because it is also creating another w pattern which is actually a bigger w pattern so this is going to be something like this which can push the price into 95 to 96 area okay why is that because if i draw fibonacci on here if i draw fibonacci from here all the way to this this is 78.6 midpoint is at 78.6 which means the market is expected to reach near about 96 area or so and that's exactly where the midpoint is this is the actual midpoint and if i go to the line chart that's where the midpoint is right now this is probably going to like you now go a little bit higher and then fall back down so what do we do next week if you're in doubt stay out that's the first rule 
it can take a little bit of breather it can fall down a little bit and then if i'll wait for that like you know, i'll monitor that move i will not try to sell it but i will monitor it and if i see momentum going down then i will on then i will look for sell positions in the market if that fall is not of much significance if it is if it does not have that kind of momentum and uh, i will wait for that um, fall to calm down and then i will look for long positions and i will wait for the break of this particular level which is 94.57 then i will look for long positions going into higher some of the higher targets based on this there are a few other things that you should be aware of uh, let me actually quickly cover that as well uh, because everything is kind of related um, even if you're not interested in looking at other pairs, Euro USD has started to show some signs of weakness because now what you can see is that market is challenging this support level. It has actually closed below the previous previous one. And what it will do is it will try to go back up to retest some of these levels. So maybe like you know, this level or this level, and then it can try to fall back down. It is also creating a weird looking head and shoulders pattern and the neckline is broken now euro usd is the biggest part in dxy so if it starts to fall down then you know that dxy is going to go up in this process it is also creating an m pattern which means the market can actually fall down to around this level or so this is quite a possibility which is 1.12 area okay this may take weeks and months because i'm looking at the weekly chart but you see the market has started to show some sign of weakness and it has been able to break through this so that's on euro usd let me show you a few others so on gbp usd on gbp usd the market has again similar sort of thing the market has actually broken through let me just quickly put the line here the market has actually broken through this particular support area now gbp usd in comparison is actually a little bit more um, bullish uh, than euro usd so if the entire market like on you know, a euro usd and gbp usd and eudst starts to up, go upwards then gbp usd probably will have a biggest of the move or biggest of the bullish move if i go to aud usd aud usd um this is looking a little messy because i haven't actually cleaned it up uh, but similar sort of thing is happening actually no this is actually a little different let me clean this up and show you what i looking at so you uh, aud usd is actually kind of looking bullish because we have um, a, a bullish candle here which is showing rejection and it is also forming a kind of like you know w pattern here so watch out for like you know um, momentum upwards if we, if the market starts to go upwards like you know if dollar starts to go down then aud usd and gbp usd probably can give you better bullish opportunities than euro usd um, that's what i can see on the weekly time frame Let's, uh, show, let's show you another one, which is uh, silver, which I've been uh, actually monitoring quite closely. So on here, about on silver, what I have, what I've been posting is that, you know, this is a very, very important area. And the last, in the last week, it has been able to break through it, but it has not been able to close below the previous uh, moment, the previous uh, uh, support here. Now, this, these two candles combined together, they do not give me enough confidence that market is going to go up. In fact, these two candles together is actually kind of like in a continuation pattern to the downside, but we'll have to like, you know, wait for further confirmation. And uh, it is following the similar sort of pattern that we just saw on Euro USD. Euro USD looks like this and silver is also looking like this and it's happening because of dollar, I guess. So this is the one to look for like you know if the market starts to fall down which i can expect because this is not a bullish scenario even though this looks like a pin bar and all that no but combined together these two candles are usually a continuation pattern continuation of the previous momentum so i'll be watchful and if it actually gives me confirmation then i'll look for short position into this possible target okay so this is what we are looking at uh, in terms of dollar and it's it, it it can have knock-on impact on other markets as well. Hope you enjoyed this analysis. And if you found this useful, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and put in a comment below. If you have any questions, any any feedback on this analysis, put in that put those in the comments below this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great trading week next week. Thank you for watching. Find and follow us on these social media channels.